Welcome to this episode of Moving Our World, time for a story. If you like small bikes, you like my Honda Chelly that I had on small bike stuff, this is the time where I elaborate on the story of that and kind of come to a conclusion as well. So uh, here we go. I wrote a little bit about this a few years ago when I first kind of finished this build and um, it kind of summarizes my history with the Honda Chelly. That started when I was over in Thailand. And 2014 was a funny year. I'd been living in Thailand for about a year at that point and their government had just fallen apart literally woke up one day and uh, there's no longer a functioning government uh, it was a case of Thursday there was democracy Friday uh, it no longer existed waking up in a nation under military rule people have spent their first night under curfew between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. So I didn't really know what was happening um, and we disappeared and went down to a different place to stay um, in the provinces and while I was there, I saw my first Honda Chelly in person. An old lady had it sitting outside her house. I had flat tires, it was weathered. It was looking like it could do with some love. And I plucked up the courage in my poor Thai language to ask if it was hers. I'm pretty sure I just said, hello, you have Honda Chelly? While pointing at it. So, me Honda Chelly, my hap. She just basically said, yeah, if you can make it work, then you can, you can ride it around. It's just been sitting there. So I took it down to a local motorcycle shop and made it work. We put some air in the tires. I'm pretty sure they were original or 20 or 30 years old. And there it began. That was my love of the humble Honda Chelly and small bikes in general, all thanks to a little Southeast Asian nation's struggle with democracy. <laughs> it's not really a little nation either. They're fairly sizable. Moving back to New Zealand in 2015, I went through a few different small bikes. I bought a Honda C50 in New Zealand while I was still in Bangkok and, and, and picked that up just as I got home. A Suzuki FA50, FS50, Yamaha V50, but it wasn't until I saw the Honda Chelly for sale that I finally found the pine that I had felt in that tiny little province just outside of Bangkok. I immediately put a scooter that I had already for sale because I wanted to use that money to put towards the Chelly. Long story short, it was in the back of a vehicle. That vehicle got crashed into. The scooter wasn't worth much money. And Andrew and Thomas, the guys you know so well uh, from our adventure through Malaysia and Thailand, they um, both spotted me the cash and I went and picked up this Honda Chelly. So it went through a couple of different stages. Um, this is how it first looked. I got a new plastic mud guard. Uh, I put that on, got a leg shield, and I kind of rode it around like that. Uh, then I put uh, some ape hangers on it. There was a site, OO Racing, or U Racing, I don't know what you call them. And it was at the ape hanger stage that I got uh, into the incredible Thai and Japanese CDM builds. Um, CDM literally means Chelly Dex Monkey. Um, so three different Honda models. And they were appearing all over the internet and they were calling them four mini builds. And some frames appeared to be even smaller than stock and I couldn't really figure out exactly what was happening. Um, so I knew that I needed to take my Chelly through to that level. It was in February 2019 that I took a trip as small bike stuff and we went to Kuala Lumpur. Um, I purchased a Honda Wave, it was 100cc. And the reason I purchased that engine was specifically because I knew that motor could fit into a Honda Chelly frame. Uh, people have been swapping Chinese pit bike motors into small Hondas for years and they're pretty reliable and I've done it quite a few times but I wanted to do the full powerful Honda engine, powerful, it's relative, uh, and, and a small Honda frame as opposed to a, just a reproduction engine. So we rode from Malaysia all the way up to Thailand and at the end of the trip I ripped that motor out and I got um, a few goodies and sent them home as well. It was on that same trip I met a guy called Natawit Chaikopo, uh, or Nut for short. And um, he's the man behind DKK Mini Bike or DKK Garage. He had a chopped Honda Chelly frame. It was the first of its kind I had seen in person. And in standard form, the Honda Chelly is pretty small. But um, under inspiration from the Japanese CDM for Mini crowd, he'd taken about five centimeters out of the height of the frame and um, another few out of the length of the frame as well. They look really, really incredible. Um, but I always like to do something slightly different. So. I found a shop in Bangkok called CDM Shop. It's owned by a guy called Yut, and Yut helped us get a whole bunch of parts, and we basically went to him this, the day after we arrived in Bangkok and shipped all of these bike parts home. With all these parts here, uh, most people are trying to achieve a slammed as low as possible build, and I figured that if you left the stock height forks and shocks instead of lowering the bike, but you had a chopped frame, it actually raised the engine higher off the ground, so you had a cool stance looking build um, but it had a whole bunch of usability you could lean it right over in the corners and it wouldn't scrape i sourced a pair of honda dax style mud guards a new rear rack i swapped out the original headlight bucket for a posty headlight bucket because they fit an led daymaker headlight that you can get from aliexpress or wish and um and you'll notice the wheels themselves are much wider so originally they're about a two and a half or three inch wide rim i've got a 4.7 inch wide rim in the front and uh it's got a disc 
brake conversion as well, and a 6.1 inch wide rear wheel. And that's retaining the drum brake setup. I did have an option to get disc, but I really wanted disc front, drum rear. I just kind of liked that. The exhaust itself, um, that's a header pipe from a Honda Grom or an MSX 125 from AliExpress. I ordered one of them, received two. That was a great day. And um, it's been modified to go underneath the motor because we've got so much ground clearance. The muffler itself is a, a backslash cut kind of cone pipe. Um, it's got a mild baffle inside. It's an Akrapovic uh, pronunciation. Please correct me if I need to be corrected there. I spent months wondering about the colour and I went up to visit Matt Smith in Auckland and within seconds uh, of being given the colour swatches in the, in the paint studio there I chose basically the same colour I have on all my builds, some kind of greeny blue turquoisey kind of teal colour. Things didn't actually go that smoothly with the engine build, the frame and the, and the forks and everything wasn't so bad but the engine, I brought it back to New Zealand, tried to install the big ball kit, um, they were completely different. It was just not right, the stroke wasn't right, the piston wasn't setting up a top dead centre, it was like half an inch below um, and so it just kind of hadn't really been made well. Um, or it had been made well, but uh, the, the the real explanation here is that I was just buying parts off the shelf hoping they would fit my random engine. I had a Honda Wave 100 engine made in Malaysia that supposedly was still made off the Japanese plans because it was from 1998. Um, and then from around 2004 onwards or 2002, Malaysia started making their own engines in the country. But before then, they supposedly got them from Japan. But then I thought they would have got them from Thailand because Thailand's had a well-established Honda factory since 1986. And they've been making the Honda Dream there um, since 1986. And the Dream engine is very similar to the Wave. I'm starting to get like really nerdy about this whole Honda uh, Southeast Asian scene here. But yeah, Bunsiu Honda in Malaysia is a, is a Honda factory that makes all the Malaysian Honda models. If you go on Honda uh, Bunsiu Honda website, um, you can have a look and, and, and see all the different models that are available in Malaysia. Go to Honda Thailand, Honda Motorbike Thailand, and you can have a look at um, the models they have there. And they're made in two different factories, literally... A 12 hour drive from each other so um, very similar models and then there's also a factory in uh, Vietnam Philippines has their own factory Indonesia has their own factory so there's a lot of different Honda factories spitting out wicked small bike models over there anyway my engine wasn't going together I ended up having to get parts from five countries so we had Thailand Malaysia Vietnam Philippines and here New Zealand I got some parts from here as well um, also from Japan, so that's six countries, so yeah, it was a wild um, rebuilding experience that we eventually got done and I put that engine into the bike and it was great and it went well, however it was kind of wasted in that bike so eventually the engine came out and I did end up using a, um, a, a, a Chinese pit bike engine, which is the whole point of doing this was to not use one of those, but now I'm using one and it's more reliable and it's better and and it doesn't mean that all pit bike engines are better than Hondas, it just means uh, that a brand new pit bike engine is better than a rebuilt Honda engine from 1998 that's likely done a couple of hundred thousand kilometres. Um, it just had some stuff worn out. I flicked that off for a very um, reasonable price to a guy down in the South Island who actually likes to tinker and build these engines, so he should have some fun with that. Um, why am I making this video? Why am I talking to you about my Honda Shelly? It's, it's because I, I'm going to sell it. Um, I haven't ridden it for 18 months and you know I'm kind of eating my words here because I used to talk about this bike like it's my forever bike I'm never getting rid of this it's the best thing ever Honda Chalice for life and it is and I still love it and but I've put so much effort into it and to not use it for 18 months just feels ridiculous um, I've got other priorities now um, and it's still motorbikes like I, I, I still plan to go over to Southeast Asia and, and grab some bikes and go ride them and do a whole bunch of stuff in the next 12 months so there will be a lot more bikes happening especially on my other channel small bike stuff but I really just wanted to introduce you the, the watchers of moving our world to my small bike obsession and where it started and um, it was it was the humble Honda Chelly. I'm gonna list it up for sale so I'll be pretty transparent about this I'll try to do a final ride on small bike stuff and I'll try to do kind of a final overview of the of the bike itself on small bike stuff so I just wanted to establish the story of it here on Moving Our World and, and talk to you about it. Um, it's a wicked bike I love it to pieces I do want to have another Honda Chelly in my life one day but I've made a policy in my life to no longer spend money on, 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 on toys or vehicles or bikes um, that doesn't come from toys or vehicles or bikes so I've got to cash out to cash in if you know what I mean and um, I'm happy to do it I'm peaceful I think I think um, like I've had a lot of difficult things happen in my life um, you know I am a father my kid doesn't live in the same country as me and um, this bike was almost 
kind of a substitute kid there for a while um, while I still have a great relationship with my daughter and, and love her to pieces you know when they're a long distance away from you you need something to, to distract you from that and for me it was this bike um, but that situation isn't like it was and things are much easier now and um, I don't need to put my faith and trust into this piece of machinery to uh, to give me happiness I'm just happy now so that's a good feeling and if you're still here that's awesome go check out small bike stuff there's a lot of videos of this i did the first three build videos then um, we realized the swing arm was on the piss so we did three more videos i think of um rehashing the swing arm and i just got that repainted and put it back on yesterday and that's where we are at the moment like comment subscribe i guess thanks for watching